Well, happy Tuesday to you folks. Um, Tuesday, January 12th, we continue with our pastor's devotional reading. Um, each day, a passage, um, some days even two, but usually one passage. Um, and the encouragement from our prayer ministry is that uh, we would write those passages down. So my practice is after I record this video, I go to my journal um, and write that um, a passage down. Today, the passage is from 2 Timothy chapter 5, um, no, I'm sorry, chapter 3, verse 14. 2 Timothy 3, 14 is where we're going to start. As you're finding that, Timothy is towards the end of your, your New Testament, so go find 2 Timothy. As you're doing that, uh, just a, a couple notes about this passage. One, lots of the things that we're reading during this month of January are from the uh, epistles of Paul, or the letters that Paul wrote. Um, interesting um, sort of history about how we collect uh, these. So the question is, how do we... How do we get all of these letters? How do we find them, right? I mean, the letters were sent to different people, in this case, Timothy or uh, different churches. And there was a follower of Paul um, named Marcion, who we believe in the second century went around collecting all the letters that he could find that Paul wrote. Um, and that's one way that we believe that he collected them or that we arrive with the collected works of Paul. And we don't have them all. For example, in some of the Corinthians, it, in 1 Corinthians, it refers to a previous letter. Well, we don't have zero Corinthians. Um, and uh, so there's other letters out there that were lost or that we just uh, never found. Um, and so it's thanks to Marcion, we believe, was the collector of these letters. And he was trying to collect them so that as a follower of Paul, that he might put together the teachings of Paul after Paul died um, and to sort of defend Paul's honor. Um, so that's a little bit about how we just interesting ways about how we come uh, to receive all of these letters of Paul. Um, secondly, uh, and more focused on this second letter of Timothy. So Timothy is a follower of Paul. He's a co-worker. He's sort of the protege of Paul, one of them. Um, and Paul's writing to him some encouragement during two particularly difficult times. So one, we believe when Paul writes second Timothy that he is imprisoned. Um, and, uh, so that's sort of Paul's situation, but also what's going on are Christians in Rome and in and around Rome are undergoing great persecution. And so all throughout this letter of 2 Timothy, Paul talks about people who have deserted him. And what he means are some Christians who have not come to the jail to care for him or to continue supporting him. Um, and then other Christians who have fallen away completely because of the persecution. And so Paul is writing this letter to uh, uh, someone, a younger person who he mentors. Um, and while he can't do the work, he's encouraging Timothy to keep the faith and uh, do the work. So that's the sort of situation of 2 Timothy. So I'm going to read chapter 3, verse 14. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believe, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. And so what's happening here in, in this passage is that there's questions from the, the Romans, uh, from Gentile Christians, there's questions about the efficacy of the Old Testament writings um, in building the spiritual life of Christians, right? Remember the Gentiles were not Jews, so all of that Old Testament stuff is means nothing to them. Um, but people like Paul and Timothy, who have a Jewish Christian perspective, still use some of the Old Testament writings, especially the prophets, um, to uh, talk about and, and characterize Christ. Um, and so there's an argument going on back and forth, and Paul is just here reminding Timothy that Scripture is a good thing, that it's a tool, that it can be used um, and that it, all scripture is inspired by God. Uh, and that scripture, 
um, helps us in, in training in righteousness so that we might be proficient and equipped for every good work. Now, I know that's why you are doing this devotional right now, because you believe those words, that what we're reading is inspired by God. No matter who wrote it and how it was collected, it was all inspired by God. Um, and it comes to us as an inspired work that that trains us in righteousness, that part of us doing these devotions is training in the right ways um, so that we might be proficient and equipped so that God could use us in every way possible. As we have seen the events of our world over this last week, we know that there is a lot of good work that needs to happen that our world is yearning for. May this day your training in righteousness equip you to be used by God in every good way this day and the days to come. God bless. Have a great day.